Hello everybody, my name is Potato Gamer Let's Plays and welcome to Dark Side Detective. This is a indie game that was released on uh, Game Jolt, I believe, as the demo version of it. So there's only one case, but let's go ahead and try it out and see if it's any good. Um, although my mouse isn't working here. Uh, oh, Alright, I got it to work. Alright, casebook. Investigate. Jenny, go bye-bye. Ooh, that doesn't sound good. Oh, it's raining. Is this a horror game? Oh, sorry for the... Uh, that. Whoa, I almost shot you there, detective. You shouldn't be sneaking around like that. Dooley, you saw me drive up. I had my siren on. You waved at me. I guess this place has me spooked out a little. So, uh, what happened here? Chief Scully said, just called me up and told me to get here ASAP. No details. Seven-year-old kid, Ginny, went missing a day ago. No sign of her leaving the house. Seems to be the kind of spooky crap, I mean, the kind of case you get, you deal with, McQueen. <clears throat> Great. Let's get started. Alright. There's a guy smoking a cigarette that's the father, apparently. Officer Dooley, why is there a hobo dripping all over my carpet? That's Detective McQueen, Mr. Taylor. He's here to investigate. Ooh. Excuse me? Tell me about Ginny. I'll level with you, Detective. I don't have much dealings with her. I leave that to the nanny. She's around here, somewhere. I was out. Sounds shady. You got an alibi? Where I was is none of your business, a detective. You pay my- my taxes pay your salary. They also pay for the cell quest and questioning room I'm going to have Dooley here take you to. Fine, here, call this number. They'll vouch for me. You receive matches. This is a matchbook from Busty Bell's Booty Boutique. Oh. Alright. That's cool. Alrighty. So we got a closet here. Let's go in the closet first. It's lit up. A box of junk. What's this? It looks like a black light bulb. Why would I need a black light bulb? What does this do for me? Now all I need is a disco ball and some white clothes and I've got myself a sexy party. <laughs> All right, all right. Let, let's get serious. God. Um, the, the living room's where I came from, so we want to go to the library. A painting. It takes a certain type of person to have an oil painting of themselves. That's true. An old oil lantern. Seems to have some oil left too. You receive lantern. Oh, so we're just gonna run around this guy's house and steal stuff? This statue is ugly enough to be worth a lot of cash. A good collection of books. Shame the dust suggests they've not been looked at in some time. Flowers. A place this fancy deserves something nicer than plastic flowers. You can never trust a man who has too many books. That's what I say. How many books are too many? Six. And how many books do you own? I don't feel comfortable with this line of questioning. <laughs> he doesn't own any books. Chandelier. One of these crystals is worth more than I get paid in a year. We could, uh, take one. Um, you passed the corruption test. Well done, detective. Yeah. Passed the corruption test. I'm proud of myself. Aren't, aren't you guys proud of me? Haha, <laughs> pass the corruption test all day long. Daughter's bedroom. Uh, Teddy. Tell me where she is, bear. I'm only kidding. You don't know. You're just a bear. Stupid, no nothing bear. Hey! Don't insult bears like that, detective. Gosh, bears are important to life. Uh, and stuff. Hello, can I ask? My baby! 
My baby is gone. Can you tell me about Jin? She just disappeared. My baby. Is there any? You have to find her. She's too hysterical to be of any use. The table says for use under blacklight. You receive marker. Tree. Looking at this, I doubt she's going to art school. Man. Find me a man that looks like that and I'll give you $1,000. Pony. I've never seen a horse with five legs. <laughs> Ooh. My. Drawers. I don't have much use for a dozen pairs of pink socks. Okay. Alright. That's cool. Just a bunch of pink socks. Alright. Portrait. She seems like a sweet kid. I hope I can find her. Yeah, that's true. Nanny. What's a nanny doing in the master bedroom? Yet nothing suspicious, that's for sure. No siree. Tell me about Ginny. She's um, uh, She's a good kid. Spoiled and sticks her nose where it doesn't belong, but that's what having a super rich parents will do to you, I guess. Okay, that seems suspicious. What's this? Seems like a paranormal contraband. It's a page from Occult for Dummies with some sort of weird pattern on it. Interesting. I probably shouldn't show these to Dooley. Ooh, what's in there? Family portrait. Ginny or mom look quite happy in these pictures. It's hard to believe that this picture and the crying woman are one and the same. Huh. Alright. I don't know how long this demo is, guys, but, uh, I, uh, I'm just gonna play it till I complete it, I guess. Uh, is there, is there, like, a broken lamp? I, I don't know. Maybe it goes in the broken lamp? Hmm, may not be broken after all, just a blown bulb. See? I hope this doesn't reveal somebody's attic shame. Oh, it did. Okay. When the paint thinner spilled, it washed away some of the pattern off. I'll try to redraw it. Paint thinner. The paint thinner spilled when that shelf broke. You receive paint thinner. I'm gonna light the matches. I should probably light this thing, you know, just in case. Alright, paint cans. Those look heavy enough to knock someone out cold. Alright, cool. Okay, Dooley, let's do this. No harm, detective. But I ain't going to that creep fest. I'll, uh, stand guard out here. Oh, hey. It's Jenny. And paint cans. He's heavy to knock off someone- Oh, are we in the, like, an alternate dimension? Hey, mister. Hello, kid. Are you here to take me home? I am. Good. I was getting hungry. Okay, kid. Let's get out of here. Whoa, not so fast, detective. Where's Dooley? The cop? I knocked him out. I can't have you snooping around here anymore. So I'm going to trap you here. <sighs> At least take the girl. Oh, I intend to. I'm her legal guardian, after all. It's my job to look after her. Especially if anything should happen to her parents. Say, for example, getting trapped in a dark mural world of their bedroom. What's this about? An inheritance scheme? You have to admit, it's a fairly perfect crime. Even if you do get rid of me, then what? She knows what you're up to. She's a smart kid. If she's so smart... She'll know to keep her mouth shut. What about Dooley? He'll wake up and know what happened. Mm, good point. I'll just have to get you get you to drag him across to here with you. Come on. Okay, drag your friend in here. And no funny business. Uh uh I I can't grab him. I can't go back through. I have to think of something. Uh, down? One more step and I'll shoot. Now get hauling. Uh, have some paint thinner. Insert witty quip here. No! Hmm. Wow. Okay. That was, uh, <laughs> that was fun. So the kid got into the nanny stuff and accidentally used it to trap herself in the dark side? That's a surprisingly useful summary of things, yes? Shame that Nenny was certifiable. She was a looker. Dooley, 
as she was dabbling in the dark arts with an aim to lock innocent folk in a parallel world. Kidnap their kid and steal all their cash. I said it was a shame, jeez. <laughs> Dooley, jeez, Pete's men. I want to... I, I need more of Dooley in games. This guy is amazing. I wonder where the nanny got the occult books from anyway. That stuff is hard to find these days. Case for another day, Dooley. First of all, I have to fi figure out what kind of paperwork covers this mess. Alright. The Dark Side Detective. Starring Dr. Francis McQueen. Exit. Can we exit? Exit game. Oh. oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Alright. Um, are there any Easter eggs in here? Just quick game. Casebook. Alright. Casebook. Woo! So it's only case number one. There's no other cases? Are there? Alright, I think that's the only case, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. My name is Potato Gamer Let's Plays. Die. Out.